Looking for an easy way to go live without having to install software? You found the right video. Starting your live streaming career can be a technical and difficult task. I have to know it because I do YouTube how-to videos on exactly how to set up those softwares. And this is why Restream reached out to me and asked me to do a video in which I showcase their solution on how to go live without having to install software. Before we start, yes, there is a free version of the things I'm going to show you, but for the best experience and most features, I am recommending going for one of the paid plans. More about the paid plans and the special offer Restream is making for all viewers of this video later in the video. First things first, this live streaming solution is completely web-based, which means all you need is a web browser. So first step is to go to restream.io. Once you have created a restream.io account and logged into it, this is the dashboard you will be presented with. And in order to access their online live streaming tool, we click on stream with studio. And once we clicked on that, we end up in this live streaming solution in here. And usually the spacing looks like this, but for the sake of this tutorial and better readability, I will increase the UI element so you can better see what I'm talking about. Also, we are switching the website to full screen so we have more space. All right, so this is the Restream Live Studio. On the left side, we have some inputs. We will talk about them in a moment. Down there is our layout section. We will talk about this as well in a moment. But on our right, here is our branding option. So first of all, I am Greeny. This channel is called Greenbox and I have green hair. So obviously my branding color is green, but we can change that to whatever we want. So let's do that. Let's click on it and drag it to red. So we are now rebranded as Rad, as you see down here with my name tag. Speaking of that name tag, in case you don't want to have a name tag on you, you can simply disable that with disabling the participant name option. And furthermore, we could brand our live stream with a logo. This is my personal YouTube logo. We can bring in some overlays like this one, which I bring in every time someone in chat says they have a birthday to, to celebrate a win. That's cool. So you can bring in your own overlays. You can also bring in your own video clips, which is super useful if you want to do like break sessions with countdowns or as I do with my quick tips. Uh, every time I do like an online quick tip tutorial live on stream, I use that quick uh, intro section and I do that. Of course, we can also set backgrounds to our live stream, which we currently don't see. So we will get back to the backgrounds in a moment. So now let's talk about the sources over here and how to add them. So you might already have suspected it that the Restream Live Studio can do a little bit more than just displaying a simple webcam and microphone on your stream. And I will talk about this right now. So first of all, of course, if you want to mute yourself during a live stream, there is a button for that. There's also a button for that if you want to disable your webcam. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. You can set your own uh, avatar here. So if you're not on camera, people will at least have something to stare at. But where it's getting interesting is with the button next to it. This is the screen share button. So if you are doing something on your computer, let's say playing a video game, or like I do, we often work in Photoshop, we can share our computer screen directly in the Restream Live Studio to our live stream. And to do that, we simply click on it and then we can either share an entire screen, a window or a Chrome tab. In my case, I want to go for my complete second screen. So let's share that. And now my second screen is on the stream. And you might have seen that the layout here has now completely changed. And this is where the layout bar just below this preview comes into play. With this layout bar, we can decide how the look and feel of the stream will appear. And we just talked about backgrounds. So right now we're sitting here in an empty black void, but we can change that by simply clicking on a background or by uploading one, or here's the cool thing, by having an animated background. So if you have a video file that works as a background, you can upload that to the Restream Live Studio and use it as a background. All right, so I often use either this one, which is a photo I took, or this one, which is also a photo I took as my backgrounds. So let's continue talking about the layouts just below this preview. Right now, we are in the box section, and uh, right now, both sources are completely visible on stream. If you would like to crop them and have more of the sources on stream, you can click on the cover icon, or if you have more sources than two, you can do like half screen 
or um, picture in picture in which I will just be like at the corner and talk about whatever I do. This is basically the layout I always use when I work on my computer, for example, in Photoshop or when I go through my website and be like, hey guys, go check out my website. I created a new super high resolution photo. Go check it out, it's awesome. That's that's what I do. This is the layout I mostly use. Uh, if we have like a, an interesting conversation with multiple people, because yes, you can invite guests to the Restream Live studio, but we will talk about this in a moment. I often use this cinema uh, view, which is basically the big screen share of whoever is talking, the presentation up there, and the participants down here at the bottom row. And of course, there's a second one, which is the same thing, just now the participants are on the right side. Let's jump back to the container preview and talk about inviting guests. Yes, this is right. You can invite other guests to your live stream. And to do that, you simply have to click on the invite guest icon, get a link, copy that and send it to up to 10 guests. Yes, you can have up to 10 guests in your live stream talking to each other and having this live stream going. Your live streaming guest doesn't even have to have a Restream account. They just need to click the link, enter their username and set a profile picture and they're in. If you're specifically interested in that guest feature, check out the video which is now in InfoCar because I did a full video about how to invite guests into the Restream Live Studio and how to work with guests in general. All right, let's continue the showcase of this Restream Live Studio because unfortunately for your time, we are not yet done. Okay, one button next to this, we can add yet another source. And this button allows us to add multiple things. We can, for example, stream a local video. So if we have a video file, which is bigger and we don't want to upload it to Restream, but instead we just want to stream it directly into our live stream, we can do this with this button. So if I click on that, a window go opens and I can start streaming a video. So let's do that. There's a new video source in our um, source overview and I can just enable it. And we now are playing a video which is on my computer directly in the live stream. So let's go back to this button again and see what else we can add. And here is something which is not available in the free version, but a feature which can be extremely powerful if you are like a power user. And this is the way to add OBS, Zoom or other third party streaming software which can send an RTMP stream to your live studio. If you do that, you simply get an RTMP URL and a stream key which you have to enter in those software as you would stream directly to a live streaming service. So if for some reason you want to bring in like a Zoom meeting into Restream, that's absolutely doable. However, as I said, not available in the free version. So let's see what the third option was, which was adding background music. If you have the Restream Live Studio, you can add reality free music to your streams. So let's say we want to go for a lo-fi theme. So I select hip hop lo-fi and we got another source playing music, which we can use on YouTube, Twitch or wherever we want to stream. Isn't that awesome? But guess what? We are still not done. Now we get to like one of my most favorite features of the Restream Live Studio. And I'm not kidding you. This was one of the reasons why I started using the Restream Live Studio myself. And this is multi-stream chat integration. So if you stream to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, or more platforms at the same time, it can be difficult to have an eye on all those different chats. And this is where Restream can help. So Restream over here has this chat tab. And what this chat tab allows you to do is to pull this, the chat messages from all those platforms and display it on here. And it, that's not all. If you see a message you find interesting, you can simply click on it and the message will be shown on stream and you can talk about that message. Uh, if you don't like the layout we currently have here with this one band, we of course can also customize this if we go back to the graphics tab and scroll up there and change the theme, for example, to this one if you like that more or the rounded one, which is one that I used to use on my streams. This is something which is super valuable. Also a cool thing is we can chat back using this tab. So if I want to chat back and say, Hello, and I just want to send this to, let's say my Twitch account. I can select that, hit it, and I now have a Twitch 
chat message which just went out and if we want to have like an on-screen chat so everybody watching the stream can see what's going on we of course can do that by enabling the on-screen chat overlay and if we do that we have the chat over there and if there are new messages rolling in we will see them over there so let's write another message hi and all the messages which are now rolling in are displayed on screen and we can simply click on them discuss them move on and everybody's seeing the chat messages from all the platforms at all the times super useful feature i love it and it's one of the reasons why i started using this tool one year ago but guess what we're still not done there is the caption feature which is pretty cool the caption feature allows you to create captions which you can then bring on stream for example this one like this video stream whatever for the youtube algorithm it's super cool if you have like a website or a book to sell or anything you can create like a caption on which you can just click and it will appear on stream and it's just honestly it's so simple and easy to do and setting up that on other software can be quite difficult so that's just one of the features I really, really, really like about the Restream Live Studio because it's so easy. Now you have a pretty good idea of the features of the Restream Live Studio, but we forgot one crucial thing, and this is how to actually live stream. Because right now we only saw how to add sources, how to do like layout things, backgrounds, videos, but how do we actually stream? Glad you asked, because that's exactly what this part up here is. So if we click on that edit button over here, we can create our streams from within the Restream Live Studio. We don't need to go to Facebook, we don't need to go to Twitch, or we don't need to go to YouTube and set up a stream. We can all do from this website. It's so cool. So we can simply set a title, we can set a description, and we can set the type of content. So let's say this is gaming. And then we go to next. When you do this the first time, you will of course not have any destination connected. So you simply click on add destination, then click on whatever platform you want to stream to, add your account to it. And once it's that, you can say on which platforms you want to go live and which ones you don't. And when I hit that live button, I will go live on two YouTube accounts, one Twitch account, as well as one Twitter account. It's so easy to use and we haven't had to install any software to do it. Right now you should have a pretty good idea of what the Restream Live Studio offers you and how to go live without installing any software. And I promised it, here is the special offer from Restream for viewers of this video. In the video description there are two links. And if you are someone who knows that you're only interested in the free version and you're not interested in paying any money for anything, that's fine. Use the first link. This link, when you sign up for the free account, gives you a $10 Restream credit. So in case you ever change your mind, you already got yourself a $10 Restream credit, which you can use for your upgrade. But if you're someone who says, sure, if something works well, it might be worth its money, but you're not 100% sure yet if the Restream Live Studio really fits your needs, use the second link in the video description down below because that gives you a seven day free trial of the Restream Professional Plan. And this includes way more than just the Restream Live Studio. If you want to find out what other services Restream offers, maybe check out the Restream playlist on my channel, which is now in the info card. If this video at any point helped you, please let me know by writing a comment or liking this video because those videos, they're a little bit more work than other videos. So if you like them, I will do more. If you don't, we don't talk about it. All right, so thanks for watching. I am Green, this is Greenbox. We are on the end card. Again, thanks to Restream for sponsoring this video. And I will see you in another video, which might be one of the videos here on the end screen. So now click on them, please. All right, bye.